In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about ways to display content for your kids. Schoology allows you to display it a lot of different ways, whether you're embedding something, you are displaying it in line, you are allowing students to open it within Schoology, open it within a new tab, and there's a variety of different ways to do it. And the question you have to ask yourself is what are you trying to do with your students? How are you, do you want the content displayed, whether you want it embedded on a page and they might have to scroll? Do you want it to open in a new tab for them? Do you want them to stay in school? Gee, it's all up to you. So I just wanted to quickly cover some of the different ways um, to do that. So one of the ways is when you are adding a link. So right now I have just a sample link to the East Penn website. When I click on it, it displays nicely right here inside of Schoology. Sometimes though, if it's a, a Google form and I didn't embed it, it might not show nicely. You might get that frown and it says account refused to connect. A student could easily click this arrow and it's going to pop out into a new tab like mine just did. But what you can do, and a lot of people don't know that this is even there because it's so small, but if I go back to that front page and if I go to where it says uh, link open sample and I click the gearbox and hit edit, there's going to be an option at the very bottom that is going to allow me to open it in a new tab. The icon looks like a little piece of paper that has an ABC icon on it. Um, so you'll see in one second once my computer loads. Okay, so under options, when I hover over, right now it's saying it's displaying in Schoology. When I click it and it's grayed out, it says display in a new window. So a second ago, I showed you how it just displayed automatically in Schoology, but if you don't want it to and you want it to open up inside of or outside of Schoology in its own tab, you have to click that button. And now what, I, what it does is you'll see it'll automatically open a new tab and takes those students outside of Schoology. So it all just depends on what you're trying to accomplish or the way you want your content to um, display. Sometimes it works better opening in its own tab. Um, sometimes you want to embed it depending on what it is. What you could also do is right here, these two are pages. We have a class links one and I just did one called a Google form embed example. So if I would click inside of this page, there's going to be a slideshow that I have embedded already, which will be in another video. But if I wanted to display on that main page, similar to what I just did for the link by going to edit, at the very bottom, that ABC button again, right now it's displaying on a new page. If I click it, it says display in line. Now when I save those changes and go back to that main page, you will see now instead of class links and Google form embed example right next to each other, you can see it embeds or what they call display in line it brings up so the student doesn't even have to click inside the page. It'll show right inside of schools. So they don't have to click in anywhere. So again, just kind of getting a feel for what's going to work and the way you want your content to be displayed. Similar with this, with inside of a page, if I go in here to edit, whether it's a Google form, um, it could be a YouTube video. Sorry, for example, here's a YouTube video. Most things have the option to share it and your option will be embed and you'll get some kind of crazy embed code. You can do it here, Google Forms, a lot of different places. Once you are back in pages, when you go to insert content, image media, from the web, and media. I know that's a lot of clicks, but that's the way you get to where it says link or embed. And then you would paste that in there and when you hit insert and save those changes, I'm not going to save the changes because I've already done it. Rather than pasting a link in there, you're going to be able to embed that Google form right inside of that page. Um, so just kind of a short video, but wanted to get you to start thinking about how you want to display your content. Do you want it to be embedded, 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 so you can pile all kinds of information, whether it's text, video, um, forms, outside websites, all that kind of stuff inside of schools, or do you want them to go elsewhere?